Hey, what's up everyone? It's Hash, and today we're gonna learn how to play Scar Tissue by the Chili Peppers. Really cool song, really cool riffs, really easy to play. We're in standard tuning, so let's get right to it. Okay, so the rhythm of this song, which is this finger picking pattern, it's really easy to do. I've actually seen how he plays it live. What he does is he actually, he's using a pick and he uses his middle or ring fingers to pluck the other strings. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. There's a lot of strumming that's going on during the song. So having the pick in your hand can come really handy and just using these other fingers to pick. But I personally, I play it without a pick when I'm doing especially the verse. <laughs> If you did it with a pick, you could go. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, so to start this off, we're playing the eighth fret of our A string. You're gonna pluck that, and then either with your middle or your ring finger, you can pluck the tenth fret of your B string. So. And then we go to the 8th fret of our low E and to the 7th fret of our G string. We play these at the same time. And then we're going to slide both these notes to the 10th fret of both these strings. So after we slide to the 10th fret of our low E and G string, slid back to the 8th fret of her low E and the 9th fret of her G string. So we went and then we're going to pluck our low E one more time at our 8th fret. So we went so to put it together with the first part Okay, so we only do that once, even though I played it a few times just to show you guys. We do this once in the intro, we go. And that's when the song and all the instruments kick in. Okay, so the second time around what I did was, I do the same thing as the first time I go. But then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play the eighth fret on my B string. So I'm gonna go. To put it together. So when we play this thing the second time around, we're doing the exact same thing, but there's gonna be one difference. We're gonna go. What we did is, so we go to the eighth fret of our B string that we didn't do at first. 
then we're going to slide from the 8th fret of her low E and 9th fret of her G string to the 10th fret again. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Before the instruments kick in we go and that's how you end the intro and that's a pull off from the 12th fret of your G to the 10th and we do it twice and then the verse kicks in so once the verse kicks in we're playing something very similar to the intro we're gonna start off with so that's exactly the same as the intro but then what we're gonna do is So here's what we did. Okay, so we go. And then we're gonna go to the eighth fret of our high E to the eighth fret of our B string. So we're gonna go. And then instead of sliding from the 8th fret of her low E and the 9th fret of her G, we're going to go from the 8th fret of her low E and the 8th fret of her B to the 10th fret of both these strings. So if you were to break down the verse into two different sections, so the first part of the verse stays the same throughout the song. The second part stays the same mostly. He just changes the last part where he goes. So let me put that in context so it makes sense. And in a different verse, he'll go. And then there's another verse where he goes. And then I think on one verse he does. Okay, so you get the idea. So let me show you guys how to play these. So the first one that I just showed you, the tail end, he goes 10th fret of your B to the 8th, 10th fret of the G to the 9th. So let's put it together. And then he does this one which is the 12th fret of your B to the 13th, back to the 12th, to the 10th fret of your B. So let's put it together. And there's another one where he goes, that's the 13th fret of your high E, to the 12th fret, to the 10th fret, to the 8th fret. So, and then there is, which is pretty much the same thing as this, but you're going to start it at the 12th fret instead of your 13th fret of your high E. You're going to go, and you're going to end it on the 10th fret of your B string. So,
Okay, and I think I covered them all. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one. I'm not sure exactly which verses these go under, just because there are quite a few verses that come into that song. But once you listen to it, you should be able to figure it out with no problem. All right, so let's move into the chorus. going on here three very basic chords F major we go to C major let's backtrack okay so F major if you don't know this already first fret of your low E third fret of your A and D second fret of your G string and the first fret of your B and high E because you're barring this down with your index finger if you don't like doing bar chords, you can get away with putting your index finger on the first two frets of your B and high E string on this song. You can go. And then we're gonna to go to C major. Just play it once. That's the third fret of our A and the fifth fret of our D, G, and B string. So we went. Then we go to our D minor. Okay, so that's the fifth fret of our A string, seventh fret of our D and G, eighth fret of our B string, and our index finger is barring the fifth fret of our high E as well. We go back to our C major. So let me show you the strumming pattern here. Okay, so the really the only thing that changes here is at the very last part of the chorus, instead of going he goes so you're playing your F major chord, I would say a little bit harder and then you go you play your C major twice and then it releases to your D minor So let me backtrack a little bit, the chorus. And to end it, So behind the solos, all he's doing is he's playing two chords. He's playing the D minor. To the C major. Back to the D minor. And behind one of the solos, what he's doing is he starts palm muting the 7th fret of his D and G string. And then he slides to the 5th fret on both these strings. And then he slides back. But all that really is, you're still playing the same chord. This is a D minor, and you play these two strings, and there's a C major. So. That's all there is to the song, and it ends on a D minor, and that's it. Well, I hope this lesson helped. 
If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, if you think maybe I'm going too fast or maybe too slow, let me know in the comments below. You know, in my older videos, I used to use a lot more tabs, but it just takes so long to do that. So I'm trying to make these a little bit faster now so I can have more lessons out there for you guys. So let me know what you'd like me to teach or if you have any suggestions or anything else, comment below and I will catch you guys next time.